have because it's one thing to cut your own hair it's another thing to lose it yeah and not have control and just you know what that can do to you emotionally absolutely um and then you have to go buy something and the some things that are available aren't the best looking <laughs> so is you like readjusting yeah. <laughs> Some of the challenges that you've experienced um, as a business owner, what would you say are some of the wins that you've had? Some of the positive moments um, since starting day one up until now? Yeah, um, I definitely would say some of the wins would be um, we were um, we're sold in a black owned beauty supply store. Um, that was kind of one of the things that we did within our first year and a half of being mm -hmm. in business. Um, we also were featured in um, Sheen Magazine, okay. um, also um, Black Beauty and Hair, um, and we were also featured in Rolling Out Magazine. So awesome. um, it was a lot um, going on at a <laughs> fast pace, <laughs> yeah. um, but you know we were just able to keep up with that and, mm -hmm. and we appreciate every opportunity that we were given. That's awesome. Um, now when you get the calls like that, is it kind of surreal to you still or are you like, yeah, no, you want the hair. <laughs> or like, what are those moments like for you when you get calls or emails like that coming in? Like, hey, we'd love to feature you. Um, or even you did the spot on Fox 59 News. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> like, how did that come about? Um, that was just another, you know, professional relationship that um, was built. And mm -hmm. um, the stylist had an opportunity to. Um, feature me and my uh, company and um, we networked and it, and it worked out great so awesome uh, yeah <laughs> yeah that's a good relationship <laughs> man so along with that um, how have you would you say you've had to change some of the things you do like I'll say for me I'm not a social media person at all like I can go months without touching it yes but you know when you have a business you need to be on it at least a few times a week if you're not just sending out constant updates and emails like how have you had to shift your behavior um, now that you have been running a business and more and more opportunities have come in how have you shifted mentally and um, your time and your tasks how has that changed yeah um, definitely I would you know just kind of go back to planning because mm -hmm. Um, it is challenging to have to post on social media every single day or um, to respond to every comment or every inbox um, as, so well as, with that. <laughs> as well as you know keep on top of your emails and mm -hmm. other communications that people mm -hmm. are contacting you by um, so I would say planning um, there's a lot of tools there's a lot of apps that help you mm -hmm. um, that help you plan mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you know it's challenging to know what to plan what content do your audience want to know um, what should you be sharing so mm -hmm. um, all of that inf all of that information um, you know you just have to plan for it and plan it out plan accordingly yeah. and that that helps that helps a lot <laughs> yes. I remember those days of <laughs> not posting um, and not because I didn't want to it's just I didn't have the time or I didn't know what to post and then it just you know fell at the bottom of my stack of to do's and then yeah you know so um, yeah I was just say planning is you know the best way to oh yes <laughs> yes and so what is your background too um, because I know you've got somewhat of a business and marketing experience before starting um, Hollywood yeah Glamis, um, so yeah my background is in marketing I um, have a bachelor's degree um, in business and a concentration in marketing so um, I would say that that's probably one of my strong suits mm -hmm. um, is marketing and developing business relationships um, mm -hmm. a lot of the um, stuff like uh, posting or mm -hmm. um, you know <laughs> things that you need to do to um, get out there and get the sales or whatnot. You know, it's not my strong suit, but I do understand as a um, 
solo entrepreneur mm-hmm. business. Yes. <laughs> you do wear a lot of hats and what you are not as well in, you either can outsource it or you can mm-hmm. um, read upon it and, you know, do your research and develop yourself to become good in that um, in that situation. Yeah. So would you say you've always had, um, I don't know, kind of this just resolve that I'll figure out a way to get it done, but it will get done because I feel like, like I will call Robin and I'll be like, this is what's going on. And I feel like you just have this, well, okay, <laughs> let's, uh, what's, let's get it together and like move forward. Like just this very resolute mindset and approach to getting the work done. Have you always been like that or? Um, I think I kind of have. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've kind of always been that kind of calm yeah. person at least on the outside yeah. even though on the inside <laughs> I could be boiling up or something but um, I think that's how you have to approach um, not only business but life like mm. you have to know that okay it's, just, it's another problem it's another challenge but you'll work through it um, you know and you begin to just figure out okay how can I get past this moment um, how can I learn from it? How can I move? You know, what do I need to do to move on for, from it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just still be caught with <laughs> you. Yeah. So, um, what would you say is next? Um, 2020 new year. What are some things on the horizon for you and Hollywood glam hair? Um, yeah, I would just say be on the lookout. We have a new website that we're launching. Um, we also are, um, we also have couple photo shoots that are coming up um so get ready for a new and updated look to hollywood glam um Mm -hmm. stay tuned to our newsletters that we have coming out once a month that normally has all of the glam tips on it okay so if you want all the insider glam news Mm -hmm. then make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter okay Um, but we put hair education hair styles maybe in there um of course any of our sales Mm -hmm. um our discounts um and then what we have coming up any events or Mm -hmm. um all of our information to stay tuned on okay so random question that i didn't put in there (laughs) that's not the first i I know (laughs) (laughs) okay so have you ever walked into a meeting um that you just didn't feel 100 percent prepared for or into a networking situation or to set up like a deal and you just weren't like just sure that you could do it or go through with it and um how did you kind of give yourself a pep talk or work through those nerves to get through that me- that meeting or that networking event or something like what what is your process going into you like the next meeting or the next deal what do you want to do to prep for that um, sure, yeah. What I normally do to prep for um, a meeting um, is pretty much I just do a lot of research. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I lay out the agenda of what the meeting is going to be about or I look over the agenda of what they're wanting to meet about and mm-hmm. I just try and do my research, um, try to come to the meeting prepared. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been there where I haven't been prepared. So I know what that feels like and it's Mm -hmm. very miserable, very (laughs) intimidating. Um, Afterwards, you think about, you know, oh, I should have done this. I should have said this. I should have Mm -hmm. negotiated this or I should have, you know, brought this up Mm -hmm. Um, and it's kind of too late. So um, that definitely has changed me and helped me to be more prepared Mm -hmm. um, to go into, um, depending on the type of meeting, but if it were a sales meeting or where I'm trying to sell my product and have it offered into a salon, for instance. Mm-hmm. Um, I try and research as much as about the salon, the salon owner, the type of business that they come, they have coming in, mm-hmm. um, the type of clients that they service. Mm-hmm. Will they be performing a service for hair extensions? Mm-hmm. Um, does it make sense for my business to be um, in business with this other salon? So mm-hmm. just doing my research and um, and then knowing that if it's a fit, it's a goal, 
Um, it would be a great product in their salon. Um, just going into that meeting with confidence, mm -hmm. um, going in there with a positive attitude, um, with a big smile on your face. No one can say no to a smile. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then just, I think as long as you're outlining um, the benefits of your product and mm -hmm. how it um, can highlight their service or their business as well, mm -hmm. um, they kind of see the need right away um, mm -hmm. and they see the value. Yeah. Um, and that's the most important thing, right? I want I want you to see the value of my product right. being featured in, you know, your salon or right. offered to your clients. So, right. so yeah. Okay, so you brought up something. So this is an extra question, <laughs> but it's on you. <laughs> so you said <laughs> if it's a good fit. And so I think that's uh, one of the challenges, like, new business owners have um, because we just are so excited to get it out there. Mm -hmm. You almost want to uh, spread it everywhere and that's not necessarily what's best for your brand. Um, you could be putting it in places where your target market will never be or they will never see it. So um, have you ever been in a situation where after being in the meeting you realize this is not a good fit for us or they realize maybe it's not a good fit for them or have you ever had an idea and then upon further research determined you know what that's not going to be the best fit for our brand have you ever been in that situation um i would say kind of sort of okay. however i felt it was more important to seek out the african american owned beauty supply stores mm. and see how i can be a partner with them and be able to have um them offer quality hair to their customers. Okay. Um, and it'd be more about a quality service and product mm -hmm. versus just trying to get someone in the door, yeah. offer them something crappy, and they just yeah. have to settle with it. <laughs> that's a, No, that's interesting. <laughs> and supporting community. That's it's so important. Right. Like shopping, you know, recycling our dollar. Um, a lot of Unfortunately, sometimes we go in business and then make big and then, you know, our dollars aren't spent with um, other up and coming uh, business owners or we don't recycle our dollar like other cultures do. Yeah. And ultra cult other cultures do that. They blow us out of the water, unfortunately. So yeah. I just feel like, you know, giving back and spending that time or that dollar or you're just your product or your service. That's really important. So um, that's awesome. <laughs> so would you have any last uh, words of wisdom or any advice you want to share with someone who's thinking about maybe getting into this particular industry or just somewhere some other avenue of business and um, just a little pep talk in terms of you know having to wear the multiple hats maybe they have kids and a husband or you know one or the other maybe the situation is different but life is busy um, and just juggling those hats what is some advice you would like to give or some advice that you wish you had had yeah. um, starting out? Yeah, um, definitely, that's a good question. Um, I would definitely just say to do your research. I would definitely say to um, have some patience because it is gonna be <laughs> a long journey um, or at least it's gonna feel like it. Um, there's gonna be late nights, early mornings. Um, there's gonna be some frustration, some challenges. Um, but just stay patient, know that you're, know what your end goal is, um, mm -hmm. write down your goals, work towards them, knock them off, you know, knock yeah. them off the checklist. Um, but you'll begin to see those rewards come mm -hmm. to pass. Like you'll begin to see, um, what you're working on. You begin to see like, oh my gosh, look how far I've came, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but always do your research in any industry or um, company that you want to go into mm -hmm. is do your research. Also, um, invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not only just invest in your product or your business, but invest in yourself to be a great leader, a great manager, a great, um, you know, whatever it is that you're doing or selling, but to just be the best at it. Um, so definitely that that would be you know the best advice that I could give yeah. is to do your research 
invest in yourself, have patience, um, and just, you know, have faith and know that it's going to happen. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I feel like that patience and faith, that's, that's a hard one. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we have this, oh, it's going to be like this and millions of dollars next year. And yeah, it's just like, no, <laughs> no, nah, nah, probably not. Or like, what are you doing to ensure that you get the millions? Absolutely. So yes. It's a lot more work. Um, I feel like entrepreneurship is like a buzzword and it's a trend. Mm -hmm. But often, you know, if you're actually out there doing the work, the last thing you're saying is, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. It's just like, no, you're doing the work. Like, <laughs> yeah. We can have this conversation later. So <laughs> um, that is awesome. Well, thank you so much thank you. for coming. And um, <laughs> don't forget to like this. Oh, where can they find you? Where can oh, they yes, find? absolutely. So um, you can definitely find us online www.hollywoodglamhairextensions.com um, on social media on IG Facebook um, we are at Hollywood Glam Hair Extensions um, and if you need to call us we're always available 888-351-GLAM um, right glam <laughs> alright guys so that is it for today um, again don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time